Now in this part of the question we've got to find out the range that each of the tensions can be as x varies between 0 and 1.4 as the gymnast moves along the bar in other words. Now you'll notice I've updated the tension at Q from the previous answer 98 plus 350x. So let's start by looking at the tension, the range of tensions that you can get in the rope at P. Now we know that x, let's just put since x, we know that x lies between 0 and 1.4. We're told that in the question. So if we consider the tension TP, right, we know that it goes between two extremes. We can look at when x is 0, the lower limit. I know x is just greater than 0, but if we just consider 0 for the moment, okay, we can get one extreme end of the tension. And then what I'm going to do is take x to be 1.4, and we'll get another value for the tension. So let's say that when x equals 0, the tension Tp will equal 588 minus 350 times 0. So it would be just simply 588 newtons. And then when x is at the other extreme, at 1.4, when the gymnast is down here, then the tension in the rope at P, Tp, will be 588 minus 350 times 1.4. Let's just write that in down here. 588 minus 350 multiplied by 1.4. And if you work that out on your calculator, what you get is 98. 98 newtons. So you can see that the tension in the rope goes from 98 newtons up to 588 newtons. Now what about the rope in at Q? Alright, let's just consider Q. Let's write it in here. So that's the tension in Q. Now again, X can vary from 0 to 1.4. So we'll put the two extremes in here. We'll say that when x equals 0, then the tension in Q is going to be equal to 98 plus 350 times 0. Well, that's just going to simply come out at 98 newtons. And then if we say when x is 1.4, the tension in Q is going to equal 98 plus 350 times 1.4. 98 plus 350 times 1.4. And if you work that out, what you get is 588 newtons. And can you see you've got exactly the same range? And in a way, we should have known that because of the symmetry of the problem. So basically, the tensions in each rope are going to go from 98 newtons up to 588 newtons. All right. So let's just squeeze that in here and we'll just say that therefore the tensions okay, in each rope okay, are greater than 98 newtons but less than 588 newtons. Okay, well that now brings us to the end of this part of the question.